Hello, this is Lego Guy 30 and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Lego Maxim machine gun. Um, it was a machine gun used by the Russian army in World War II. Um, so I think they might have used it afterwards, but I'm not positive, so don't quote me on that. But um, let's get started. So we're going to start off with the base here. So what you're going to need first is um, two... Uh, these little gear pieces right here you can kind of see them and a lego rod piece in the middle so pretty self-explanatory you're just going to want to slip these on like that and you'll be good to go and this doesn't matter this can be flex tubing or just a normal lego rod um so that doesn't really matter too much and if you don't have these gear pieces an alternative would be um using the Lego dumbbells that came in the weightlifting series or the Lego like studs with the tires and then but they have to be the new kind that the new studs that have like the hole in the middle of it I don't know if you know what I'm talking about or not but I'm, I'll post a link on BrickLink to show you the piece I'm talking about so anyway, enough of that. And then next what you're going to want to do is just take a stud jumper and this clip piece just like that and stick it on right here. Okay, so then once you've done that, just do that. And next we're going to move on to the other part of the base. Um, so this is like the, I guess this is the thing that like supports it. So all this is is two pieces of flex tubing and a droid arm so you might be able to get away without using flex tubing but flex tubing would definitely work better and the way you can tell if it's flex tubing or not is if it's bendy and it's like hollow so um, you can kinda see how long this is it's about as long as a normal Lego rod piece like a lightsaber so then you're just gonna do this and put those both here um, let me just get that in there. Yep, so it should just look like this. And then you're going to take this and hold on, let me straighten this piece out. Yeah, you want to make sure that's straight and kind of centered. And then you're going to take this and you're going to bend it. And you're, and you're just going to stick it in there like this. Hold on. Bear with me here. Because this basically is being held in with friction, so it's not really going to be held in with, like, actual Lego. Okay, so it should look like this. Sorry about that. kind of took a little longer than I wanted it to, but you get the idea. So, then you're going to want to put that on a flat surface and kind of just, like, straighten it out. So it could look kind of like this. Then next we're going to move on to the gun. So the gun, um, I'm focusing on this. So these, basically, it's pretty simple. I'm not going to be able to really take it apart. I'll be able to take out the hand grip, but not this, because um, this is optional, but I glued on a little piece of flex tubing. That way I can put an ammo chain on it. But, I mean, that's completely optional. If you don't want to glue that, it still looks pretty good anyway. Um, so, as you can see, this is a snot brick or a headlight brick right here, and then this is another snot brick, the same piece, but facing this way, because, you know, these pieces have the hole right here, and then this is just a tile. So then this works, the uh, handlebar, see this is um, a binocular piece with flex tubing, right, but I kind of just squished it so it would fit through there. Um, you could just do it with like pliers or even your teeth if you wanted to. And then that just sticks right in here and this little hand piece kind of like grips onto it so it stays in place. So I know this is kind of confusing because I didn't really take it apart but I'm just kind of told you how to do it. So if you are still confused by any of this just feel free to leave a comment below and I'll do the best I can to answer it. So then you can imagine this is going to go here, but we're not going to do that quite yet. 
So then this is the ammo chain I was talking about. That can just go on right here if you do decide to do that. Um, just get it on. If I can. There we go. Um, so then we're in the home stretch right now, and this is the gun shield. So this is also modded because um, I was going for accuracy, not really purism right now. So this is a one by this is a stud um, jumper with a one by two tile, and I kind of like sanded it down to make it look the most accurate to what the gun actually looked like. But um, if you don't like doing that, you can always use um, Brick Arms U clips and attach them like right on this tile and then just put one right here or on both if you kind of want it to look more Lego-ish or purist. Um, another option would be to you could use um, Lego hands and flex tube and kind of like connect or like a Lego hand right here to kind of connect it if you see what I'm saying. Um, here, let me just take a so like this kind of so to like basically like take a hand right here and kind of like connect it like that. So that would be another option. And anyway, so that's going to go right here. Um, this fell out. And then the barrel, uh, I'm using the Brick Arms uh, water cool 30 cal barrel, which I think looks the best. But another option just to be used cylinder pieces and then like a Technic pin and then a Lego rod. So, um,. That would be another option, but I personally just think this looks a little bit better. And that just goes in right there. And then um, that kind of fell off. But and then this goes like this. Put this back. Eh, it's not really going in right now, but and then the handlebar also fell out. I'm just not having very good luck right now, but that's basically it. So like I said, the handle, this thing kind of just like wedges in right like there. There we go. Oh, of course, it falls out again. But if you wedge it in good enough, it will stay. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to like the video if this was helpful. If you need any, if you have any questions about the design or anything, um, just comment them and I'll answer them as best as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye.